Here, some tea. Hmm? Mind, it's hot. And the papers for you. Papers? If you want to read them. Oh, I don't know. Well, I'll leave them here for you anyway. Yes, yes, all right. Thank you, Alistair. So, Jazz is up, having his breakfast, and I'm off work today. No one called for me this weekend, which is nice. Yes, yes, indeed. And Jazza says he's got no plans for the day. So we thought we'd make the most of it. Have a quiet day at home together, just the three of us. How does that sound? Quiet, yes. And we've got some Brookfield beef for lunch. If I put it in now, it should be ready at the usual time. Oh, well, if you want any help... No, 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 that's kind, but it's all under control. And as it's so nice, we could take it outside, eat in the garden. Outside? Perhaps not. Though though it is a lovely morning out there. Jazza and I thought we'd take a stroll before lunch, if you wanted to join us. Walk where? Not far. Maybe down to the river? Sunday morning? There'll be people everywhere. We could go somewhere quiet, off the beaten track. Maybe look out for that kingfisher. Oh, I, I don't know. It might do you good. Rather than sit in here all day? Well, perhaps. Good. I'll see how I feel. You see, the top is real marble and wrought iron legs. It's one of Fallon's upcycle pieces. Don't you love it? Ed? Hmm? So it's, um... It's a coffee table. Oh. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I can just picture it in our new living room at Beechwood. In front of the settee, or maybe in the corner, with a plant on top. Or a vase of flowers. Yeah, yeah, whatever. If we could afford it. Fallon did say she'd cut me a deal, but it's still going to be way too much, so... No use dreaming. Ed, are you listening to a word I'm saying? Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know you think it's all so boring. I'm sure you've got far more important things to think about. Yeah, well, I'm knackered after last night. Well, if you will stay up till the crack of dawn. I was working, wasn't I? I was supposed to be. OK, well, why don't you go back to bed? I can't. I've got things to do. You're not going out again? I need to have a word with Tim. Oh, all right. Oh, hey, before you go, guess who called me last night? Who? Peggy Woolley. You know why? She wants me to go round there and clean for her. Yeah? I thought Kate was yeah, doing so that. Yeah, so did I. But Peggy says the whole house needs deep cleaning. Huh. That's hardly surprising. I bet all Kate does is go round and plump a few cushions. Peggy wants me to go round one day this week. Where are you going? I said I'd think about it and get back to her. Yeah, OK. Well, I mean, after she sacked me like that with no notice or nothing, now she expects me to... Jump to it and bail her out. I really don't see why I should. What do you think? It's up to you, isn't it? You're a great help. Sorry, I'm in a rush. You think I'm being too picky? I should just hold my nose and take her money? Well, she's got plenty of it, dishing out half a million to her relatives. Too right. And if you want that coffee table so bad... Oh, come on. A whole day's cleaning wouldn't pay for half of it. Well, like I said, it's up to you. I'm off any road... When are you back? Uh, I'm not sure. That depends. Well, remember, I'm taking Kira to Maisie's later. Huh? Her friend in Penny Hassett. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, OK, then. I'll, I'll, I'll see you later. <sighs> he said he might come out, but I'm not too hopeful. Should I go in there and give you a try? Well, you could, but... Uh... Maybe offer to help him with his crossword. See if I can pair him up a wee bit. Oh, if he'd rather just sit there on his own, perhaps we'd better leave him to it. Look who's here. Oh, yeah? And he's got his sun hat on. That's a good sign. Hey, Jim. Yes, sir. Good morning. You coming up to join us? Well, I I just thought I'd put my head out. That's great. Good boats out here with Alistair. Oh, thanks. So, uh, are you going to join us on our walk? I could do with some intelligent company. Uh, well, I... I don't know. It's a bit hot. Ah, just keep your hat and you'll be fine. No, I, I'm afraid it's too hot for me. I, I'll go back inside. Oh, come on, Prof. Come with us, Dad. It'll be cooler down by the river. No, no. Another day, perhaps. I'll stay here. You two go without me. 
Oh, well. Poor old prof. Burns me up to see him this way. I just want to go in there and give the man a hug, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It makes me so mad think what that evil man did to him. Yes. And can you imagine what it was like for Dad to find the courage to tell us after all those years? It must have been like reliving the whole hideous nightmare. Just need better thinking about it. So perhaps it's not surprising he's gone back into his shell. Self-defence, the only way he can deal with it. Aye, but if he goes and locks it all away again and pretends it never happens, that's not going to help, is it? No. Certainly not in the long run. Once the genie's out the wee bottle, you, you can't shove it back in again. I want some answers, Tim. What's going Ed, on? Ed... Just cool it, yeah? I messaged you, you didn't reply. You've not been picking up my calls. And I'm in the middle of a job here. I've got to drive to late. Oh, yeah, yeah, and but... The signal's not so great. You've still not answered my question. What happened last night? Last night? You tell me, mate. Oh, see, you know nothing about well, it. Just slow down, all right? Start at the beginning. OK. So, I, I took the stuff to the pickup place, just like you said, and they never turned up. What do you mean? They never came. I was waiting there for hours. So you must have gone at the wrong place. No, I was at the right place, right time, and they never showed. No, they wouldn't do that. They've never let us down before. Tim! If they fix up a handover, they keep to it. Tim, I'm telling you, I was there. I hung on for most of the night. Why would I make it up? I don't know. Why would you? For crying out. After all that you've said to me about these guys, you seriously think that I'd mess them about? That would have been a big mistake. Yeah, so I'd, I stayed there until it was getting light. And in the end, I had to take the stuff away and stash it. What? Stash it? Where? In the pole barn in our field. Seriously? What else was I supposed to do? It's a way out of the village and I, I hid it as best oh, I could. OK, come on then. I need to know it's not going to be found. Show me. <laughs> Dad? Oh, hello. Sorry to disturb you again. I just wanted to make sure you hadn't changed your mind. About what? The walk. We're about to set off. Oh, no, no. I'm quite happy where I am. Dad? I can quite understand why you feel you need some space. But you mustn't forget you're not alone in this anymore. I'm here. Jazza and I are here to help you in any way we can. You do know that, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. OK. How did you sleep last night? Oh, all right, thank you. I mean, if you're not sleeping, do you think it would help to see the GP? What? Just to talk things through. Who knows, she might be able to give you something that'd help. Alistair, I'm sleeping very well. I'm perfectly healthy. I don't need to see a doctor. Yes, all right, fair enough. I'm sorry, I, I don't mean to sound ungrateful. No, Dad, don't worry about it. I'll leave you in peace. Alistair. Yes? I, I just want to say, for me to know that you're here and ready to help if I do need you, it means a lot to me. More than I can possibly say. Oh. Thanks, Dad. I'm... I'm glad of that. But for now, I think it's best if you let me deal with this in my own way. You got another straw bale knocking about? Well, if I had, I'd have used it. OK, well, if we shift this one in a bit. Come on, quick about it. It's not good to be moving this stuff in broad daylight. OK, then. Lift. That's it, a bit more. There we go. Now this bit of tarp will reach the bottom. Yeah, yeah, you're right, that's better. You'll have to do. At least you can't see it from the road. Well, so what happens now? Well, if what you say is true... Oh, Tim, it wasn't my fault. Then I'll have to arrange for them to come and pick it up. How long's that going to take? How should I know? Either way, they're not going to like it. So they should have been there last night. Well, we better hope it was their mistake for both our sakes. Oh, who's this? Me? Oh, it's Emma. What's she doing? Does she know? No, of course she doesn't know. So why is she here? Well, she's been taking our daughter somewhere. Should have seen the car in the lane. Hello. The... Oh, yeah. Morning. Hello, Tim. Oh, did you uh, get Kira to her friends, okay? Yeah, yeah, I was just on my way home, so I. But, um, if you're busy, I, 
I won't get in your way. No, 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 we were just... Uh, <laughs> My kid's guinea pig. He needs some straw for his bedding. Oh, right. Yeah, well, we, we had some loose knocking around, so... Uh... Thanks, then, Ed. I'll give you a call sometime. Yeah, yeah, cheers. See ya. Bye. Guinea pig. Yeah, yeah. Um, any road, I'm, I'm done now, so... Um... Good. Well, I just came to say I had another talk with Peggy. Oh? About the... Yeah, I told her I'd do it, but only if she pays me double time. Will she? Yeah, she's agreed. Oh, that's great, then. Well, she had no choice, really. I could tell she was desperate. And? What? Well, with what I own from her, plus some extra shifts at the chicken factory, I'll have enough to buy that gorgeous coffee table off of Fallon. It's just as you say, Jazza. Anyone can see how much he's hurting. It's so hard to watch. Aye. And now we know the truth about what was done to him as a child. We eat your old wind, you suffer like that. It's no wonder. No. Me and Fiona were talking about him before the party. The way he never really showed his emotions. My mother was so affectionate, you could always go to her for a hug and a cuddle. But Dad really never liked that sort of physical contact. He wasn't a great one for hugs. Now, of course, it all makes sense. We know who's to blame. Yes, but I wish I could say all this to Dad. Talk it through with him properly. Who knows, it might even help him to So did that monster Harold Jason. And he's still out there, a free man. Yeah, I know. After what he's done to Jimmy, he should get the punishment he deserves. Jazza, as much as I'd like to see him brought to justice, we need to put that aside. And do nothing? For now, yes. Why, maybe... Dad's insisting he wants to deal with this in his own way. We need to respect his decision. Perhaps we can even find a way to help him. That's our priority now. Everything else will just have to wait. So it's a bit of a stressful time, really, until I get my results. Oh, yes, I see. Phoebe, darling, you're back. Hi, Auntie Lillian. <laughs> Hello, Hi. Shula. So, you're all finished at Oxford? Yeah, I've done my finals. Still waiting for my results, though. Oh, I'm sure you'll have done brilliantly. Of course, darling. Oh, I don't know. I'm trying not to think about oh, it. Oh, all right, sorry. So, what are your plans now you're home? I don't know, really. It's been so full on since Christmas. Mm. I feel like my feet still haven't touched the ground. Of course, it was your 21st last week, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I had a party at college. Loads of people. Lots of booze. Ooh, sounds fun. <laughs> That's all I'm telling you. <laughs> well, take my advice, darling. Now you've got some free time, you should make the most of it. Relax and enjoy yourself. Oh, I can't wait. Well, have you got a job lined up already? No, no job, no internship. Ooh, so you're a free woman. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Phoebe, it's lovely to see you again. Oh, and you too. I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Thanks. Bye. 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 So, tell me. Are you planning to spend this free time with uh, anyone else? Uh, well, Jenny did mention a young man you were seeing at Oxford. Auntie Lillian! <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> darling. Just your old great auntie being nosy again. <laughs> oh, damn and blast! Dad? You wretched things! Why have I got so many pans? Dad, what's all this? Oh, piles and piles of them. Things I'm never going to use. So why are you... Because these cupboards are all such a mess. Oh, they've not had a proper clean-out for years. Well, yeah, perhaps, but oh, why do it now? There. there. You see what I mean? Yeah, prof. We saw the rumpus. Yeah, look, look. Oh, no. See the dirt at the back. Layers of grime and filth. It's quite disgusting. Dad's having a go at the kitchen cupboards. Yeah. Oh. Just as well I did. I've never seen such mess and clutter. Oh. It's going to take me all morning. OK, so why don't you let us... No, do? thank you. I could manage. Well, we might as well. Yeah, you've got a job to do. And you, Jazza, aren't you supposed to be up at home farm... Aye, well... ...for your induction session? Finding out how this aquaponics malarkey works. Oh. No, that's been postponed. Well, I hope that wasn't on my account. Uh, no, no. Uh, look, Dad, are you sure uh, we... No. Can't... You'll just get in the way, and you've both far more important things to do. Now, go off you go. you think it's safe to leave him like this? Well, I don't like it either, but you heard what he said. The way he was laying into their cupboards doesn't feel right to me. Not me. He's never bothered about it before, so why now? Oh, who knows? 
another way of coping. Mm. It's better than sitting around doing nothing. Uh, maybe. Look, all we can do is take him at his word and leave him to it. I should get to work. OK, then I'll, I'll head on up to your home farm. Have a word with Adam. And see you later. Whoa, that's a lot of cherries. Oh, looking good, aren't they? I'm feeling quite optimistic. <laughs> that, from you. It's going to be a record crop then. <laughs> Hopefully. Fantastic. Well, it's not quite in the same league as getting a degree from Oxford. Oh, don't say that. I haven't got it yet. Oops, sorry. So what's this about great-grandma going all eco? Here she's trying to save the planet. Ah, yes. It's incredible that she's thinking like that, but it does sound a bit random. Where on earth did the idea come from? Oh, you'd have to ask Grant. <laughs> OK. So, are you working on a brilliant scheme to get the money? Well, I don't know about brilliant. Hmm. So is it a deadly secret, or...? I've uh, got some drinks on ice here. You want one? Hmm. Yes, please. <sighs> OK, here you go. Oh, thanks. So, my pitch to Gran. Can you tell me what it's about? Well, it's still in the early stages, but... I want to start a soil academy at a home farm. OK, so how would that work? Well, as you know, it's something that's always been close to my heart. Some forecasts are saying there'll only be enough viable topsoil in the UK to support another hundred harvests. After that, well... We'd all be totally screwed. Yeah, and the problem's global, of course. Soil erosion and degradation. Yeah, of course. Yeah, did you know that there's three times as much carbon stored in the soil as in the atmosphere? If that gets released through bad farming practices, you know, like, like ploughing even, it could have a massive impact on climate change. Hey, Adam. Jazza. Hello? Hey, Jazz. Ah, oh, Phoebe. How's things? Mm, not so bad. So, uh, what brings you up here? Looking for you. Give him induction day. Well, you uh, asked for it to be postponed, remember? Aye, well, there's been a change of plans. I'm sorry, Jazz. I'm busy with other things. You don't look so busy to me. Well, I am, so we'll have to rearrange. Well, you can't just... Look, give me a call later. OK... You're the boss. Don't worry, Jazza, you'll get your induction day. Aye. Was there something else? I have one of the cans of your offering. Sorry, Jazz, Phoebe and I are having a private discussion. OK, then. I'll be in touch. See you later. Bye, then. <laughs> Jazza, hey, what's it like? So, Adam, tell me more about this soil academy. Alistair? Oh, hello. Hi. Um, I don't want to hold you up. It's just, um... I spoke to Jacob yesterday. He said you're not moving to Borchester after all. No, I'm not. I'll be uh, staying at Greenacres. Oh. For now, at least. So, you and Jim, does that mean... Has he talked to you about whatever it is that's been yes, troubling him? Yes, actually, he has. Oh. We had quite a long talk really hard and it was upsetting for both of us yes I see oh Alistair so Shula what... I can't say any more. you must understand that yes of course I'm sorry and I can't stop now anyway I need to get into the surgery okay um Alistair what <laughs> never mind it was nothing I'll let you get on so there'd be two parts to the scheme First, we'd create the kind of dynamic, exciting venue that would attract our visiting soil experts. So, are we talking academics or farmers? Or both. Anyone who's at the cutting edge, and not just from the UK. I'd want to attract the best people from all around the world, Phoebe. Mm, global thinking. Impressive. Yeah, we'd use some of the home farm land as a, as a test bed for researching the different ways of restoring soil fertility. Like you've been doing with your herbal lays. Sort of, yeah, but also experimenting with the way we grow the arable crops themselves, taking no-till to another level, harnessing natural processes with companion planting or integrating livestock grazing. OK. Well, you don't sound convinced. Yes. Yes, I think it's a great idea, Adam. It's original, topical and, and well-conceived. Ah, uh, but? But just somehow not very... Sexy. Oh, does it 
Does it need to be sexy? This is a competition, remember? Whatever Pip's dreaming up at Brookfield, I'm guessing it's going to be fairly radical. You don't think mine is radical enough? Yes, but it's all about presentation, isn't it? Like when people hear the word academy, well... <sighs> you think it's a bit of a turn-off? It doesn't really grab, does it? <sighs> no. So, what? You think I should rename it? Maybe repackage it somehow. Mm-hmm. Repackage, yes. Uh, Adam, I'm, I'm sorry, but you did ask. You're right, I did. So, time for a rethink. How to sex up a soil academy. Whiskey at lunchtime, darling? No, why not? Oh, no reason. It's just, uh, oh, well, we've not seen much of you lately. What have you been up to? Mm, maybe it's a case of the less said, the better. Well, I don't know if this helps, darling, but um, I've got a few troubles of my own. Perhaps you could give me some advice. Uh, I'm not in the mood, Lily. Oh, come on, Jazza. It's about next Monday. It's my birthday. You see, Justin's been moaning that I spend all my time down here and he hardly ever gets to see me, so he wants us to go away for a holiday together. All right. And it's terribly sweet of him to offer, but I don't want to go on holiday. And anyway, it's really quite impossible. Can't let Kenton down like that. Jolene will still be on tour, and I'm needed here. There's no way he can manage without me. And Toby's got to miss you, know. Toby? We what Kenton told me last week. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know Kenton thinks I spend all my time chatting to Toby and leave all the hard work to him. All right. But it's complete nonsense, darling. He'd be lost without me. I have been working my fingers to the bone. I mean, not just here in the bar. I'm indispensable. Take this week's quiz night. Now our gracious quiz master's dropped out again, I'm having to do it myself. Jim? You talking about Jim? Yeah. It's the second time in a month he's let us down. Hey, that's it. I'm off. What? You're going already, darling? I have no time for this. I need to get him. Oh. Uh, Jim? You there? Jim? Oh. Jazza. Yeah. What's up, Prof? Look. Look at all the mess. Well, you're in trouble with your clearer. I, I'm not sure what happened. I, I got so far and then... I, well, I don't know. It was all too much. Yeah, it's no problem. Oh, it was stupid of me. I should never have started. Well, it's only a few pans. We'll soon have it cleared up. Dad? Oh, dear. And here's Alistair. Uh, Jim, it's all fine. Hello. Just going to get a spot of lunch. Ah... I'm sorry, Alistair. I've made a complete mess of it all. Hey. Hey, no, it's fine. You mustn't worry. You know what I think, Jim? I think you need to take a break. But I've not finished yet. Oh, too much housework isn't good for anybody. Yeah, Jazz is right. But why don't you go through and sit down? We'll sort this out. I can't go and leave it. Yes, you can. As soon as this lot cleared up, you go and take it easy, Jim. Oh, oh. Yes, sir. All right. Good man. I'll make you some tea, yeah? Perhaps that would be best. Yeah. Thank you, Jazza. He's really not coping, is he? Oh, you know why? You know who's done this to him? Jazza. Harold. Harold Jason. Yes, I know, but... <sighs> you know what? I'm going to find out where the bastard lives. And when a day, I'm going Jazza, to... Jazza, no. Look, I know just how you feel, but that is not going to help Dad. Have you got a better plan? Well... I've been doing some more research, and these organisations that specialise in helping abuse survivors... You're talking about counselling? Yes. They have trained therapists. Oh, come on, Alistair, get real. you. Jim, you'll never buy it. Yeah, well, it may be uphill work persuading him, but... Well, you know your da. <laughs> Nesbitt counsellors are worse than vicars. All right, but we can't do nothing and watch him suffer like this. We have to give it a try. Getting near the end of term, exams are over, not much going on at college. So you thought you'd give it a miss? Yeah, and I've got my driving test later. Oh, big day then. Yeah, plus Rory's supposed to be home from school today. Supposed to be. We just messaged to say he's got held up. Jennifer's stopped off at the garden centre. They could be there for hours. OK. And after I'd walked halfway up to Willow Cottage to meet him. I see. Well, I saved your walk home anyway. <laughs> yeah, thanks again, Emma. Well, I just dropped Kira at my mum's. 
I'm working today at the lodge. Oh. Anyway, no more walking and begging lifts. Not for me. Not after today. This will be the last time ever. Unless you fail your test. <laughs> Please. I've been driving on the farm for years, and I ace my theory. Oh, right. Yeah, I don't know why they can't just give me a license. Save a whole lot of time and hassle. Mm. And it's not just the driving. They ask all these stupid, pointless questions like, how do I know if the indicators are working? How do I check the oil? I mean, I've been doing that on the tractor since I was 12. I'm glad you're feeling so confident. Oh, um, you can just drop me at the corner if you like. I'll walk the rest. Oh, okay. So how are things at Brookfield? Oh, the usual. Rosie's still busy not walking. Oh, bless. Must be her birthday soon, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We're planning a party in the barn, if Pip gets round to organising it. Huh? She's got her mind on other things. Like her big winning plan for Peggy's eco fund. You think she's in with a chance? <laughs> oh, you know my sister. She's giving it everything she's got. Oh, I bet she is. Well, bye then, Emma. Thanks for the lift. Plenty of lamb's lettuce left. How are the spring onions? Uh, yeah, there should be enough. You sure? The new lot aren't quite ready yet. Only Helen wants some for the shop, remember? Yeah, fine. Whatever you say. <sighs> Thank you, Natasha, for taking time out especially to help you in the polytunnels and remind you about the onions. Yeah, so we'll grab what we need for the boxes and they can have whatever's left. Tom, it might be best to liaise with them first. Sure, don't let me stop you. Me? I'll liaise with my family when they stop treating you as some kind of gold digger. <sighs> Till then, the less I have to do with them, the better. For pity's sake. How many times? That's It's just not true. It's all in your head. No, Natasha, it's not. It's a simple fact. They don't trust you, so they want to draw up a post-nup agreement. I still don't get how you can be so relaxed about it. Because I actually... Because you're such a nice and lovely person, you always think the best of people. That you can't believe my family would be so rude and thoughtless and insensitive. No, I think they're being perfectly fair and sensible. <sighs> Natasha... See what it's doing to us. Don't want us to keep arguing about it. I'm not signing any post-nup agreement. End of discussion, OK? It's very good of you to come round at such short notice. Well, like I said, it weren't the best time for me. No. Though I can see why you need a good cleaner. Yes, uh, Kate. Well, she has her own way of doing things. Oh. What's this here? Behind the settee? Oh, it looks like avocado. Oh, not sure how that got there. Well, maybe it's guacamole. Kate must have missed it somehow. I'll have to sponge it all off the carpet before I vacuum. Oh, yes. <coughs> so it can't be long now before you move into your new house. Just a few weeks. How exciting for you. I shall be busy myself these next few weeks. With my Ambridge Conservation Trust. I am sure it's a lot of work for you, Peggy, deciding which of your family gets all that money. Yes, it's quite a responsibility. Shall I make us some tea? Oh, there's no need to trouble yourself. Oh, it's no trouble. And I mustn't get in your way. I'll let you know when it's ready. Hey, you, Ben. Hey, mate. How's it going? Oh, I just spent two hours in the world's most boring garden centre. <laughs> So you're back home then? <sighs> Finally. What about you? Have you done your test yet? I'm here now, waiting to start. Yeah? Oh, hey, that's great. Yeah, not long now. Soon as I'm home, you and me, Roars, we're going to be fully mobile. Oh, it's just a shame we don't have anything to drive. No, that's all sorted. We've got plenty of cars on the farm. Oh, so, what, you think you can borrow one? or? I'm already onto it. Dad says I can use the Land Rover. Oh, but that's disgusting. I mean, not like all the time, when nobody else is using it. Yeah, and when it's not full of mug. So it stinks a little bit, but... <laughs> hey, and you know what else? I got a date with Tiggy. So... Tiggy from the band. You met her at Easter? Oh, Tiggy, hey. Yeah? You're jealous already? No, I just thought she'd have better taste, that's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you're taking her out in the stinky Land Rover. Classy. Uh, no. Way better than that. I got my brother to lend me his car. Josh? No, seriously? Yeah. <laughs> I had to lay it on a bit and promise to cover his milking shifts for the rest of my life. <laughs> Laugh at all his lame jokes, you know. But he said yes in the end. Oh, nice one. Yeah. Oh, uh, i got to go. I'm next up. I'll catch you later. Ah, oh, Emma. 
tea's ready. Oh, thanks. Just leave it there for me. Aren't you going to take a break? No, I've still got lots to do. You can sit down for a few minutes. I've missed our little chats. OK, then. Just for a minute. Emma, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but you don't seem quite yourself. Oh? Is well, there something on your mind? Well, now that you mention it, there is one thing, yeah. So, come on, then. Thanks. This plan of yours, the Ambridge Conservation Trust. Ah, oh, yes, what about it? Well, it just seems very unfair to me. Unfair? Why? Well, like... <laughs> You call it the Ambridge Trust, but it's only open to members of your own family. That's right, yes. So what about the rest of us? I mean, your family aren't exactly hard up, are they? None of them. They don't need your half a million. Well, it's not just about the money. Well, you say that, Peggy, but for people like me and Ed, having to work all the hours God sends to feed our kids and pay the rent and save for a house deposit... I know your life's not easy, but what's that to do with the charitable trust? Well, all I'm trying to say is there are plenty of other people in the community who know enough about farming and who'd have some great ideas about sustainability and protecting the environment. Me and Ed, for instance. Ah, yes. Well, not just us. Anyone who isn't one of your relations. Why should they be ruled out? Don't they deserve a chance? Surely it's only fair. Well, I... I had no idea you felt so strongly. Oh, I'm sorry, Peggy, but you did ask. Yes. Yes, I did. So there you are, then. I've had my say. I should get on with the cleaning. Yes, I, I rather think you should. Ben, hello. Oh, hey, Natasha. <sighs> Not in college? Uh, no. Although, wasn't your mum saying you had your driving test today? Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Oh, so how did you get ben, on? Ben, bro! Hey! Hey, Rory. Hello. Oh, hi, Natasha. Ben, what's up? I've been trying to call you. How was the test? Uh, well... Yes, come on, tell us. <laughs> did you pass? Well, my test never happened. It was cancelled. Oh, no. What? Cancelled? Why was that? Yes, how come? The, the, the guy, the examiner, he was off sick. And they, um, well, they, they couldn't get a replacement. OK. Oh, no, what a letdown. That must be so annoying. Yeah, you said it. So now you'll have to wait and do it all over again? That's about the size of it, yeah. Oh, well, better than failing, I suppose. Yep. I'm booked again in three weeks' time. So not long to wait, then. Bye. Yeah, bye. Hmm. OK, so... So, your examiner was off sick. Oh. How unlucky was that? Yeah, crazy or what? So, what kind of sickness was it? Yellow fever? Bubonic plague? What? <laughs> Come on, mate. You may have fooled Natasha, but... But what? I'm not as dumb as that. Your test wasn't cancelled, was it? You failed. No! No! Hey, hey, I... hey. It's OK. I'm your mate. You can level with me. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I'm not ashamed because I didn't... <laughs> OK. OK. So maybe I did. It was just bad luck. It was so stupid. Oh, so what did you do? Did you run a red light? Shh! No. <laughs> well, the reversing didn't go well. He chose a really tricky place. Oh. I mean, how was I supposed to do it properly? Oh, mate. And then the hill start was a disaster. A hill like a ski slope. It was a nightmare. Oh, loser. Hey! <laughs> everything else was fine. And Tiggy's going to be so disappointed, having to call off your hot date. No, actually. I called her already and she's cool. She's fine about it. Yeah? You spun a your test was cancelled line then? Yeah. I mean I mean she was disappointed, but she's still keen, really up for it. Yeah? Yeah. So next week she's off on holiday with her folks, but we fixed up another time when she gets back, and that will be after my retake, so I can take Josh's car and we can like make up for lost time. Oh, you've got this all sorted, haven't you? Yeah. And Rory, nobody knows I've failed. My examiner was ill. My test was cancelled. Okay? Hey, uh... Oh, aren't you pleased to see me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even though I'm interrupting your very important work. Uh, just updating the website. OK, so, uh, that, can that wait a few minutes? I, I wanted to sit down and have a talk. Uh, sure, I'm listening. Tom, leave that screen and look at me instead. <sighs> OK, so, what's this about? Well, you can probably guess. Because if it's about the post-nup, there's nothing more to say. Tom, listen to me. 
You keep saying it's about your family not trusting me and how I ought to feel insulted. Yes, because it's true. But when I say I don't feel the least bit insulted, that's true as well. I, I wouldn't lie to you about it. No, I'm not saying you would. So, if you do believe me, there must be something else. Another reason why you're so against it. Something you're not telling me. Oh, Tom, no secrets, remember? This is meant to be an honest and open relationship. What's really bothering you? OK, if you really want to know, I'm worried that if my family keep pressuring you, making you go to lawyers and sign forms, you'll get so fed up you'll leave me again. Maybe for good this time. Oh, Tom. Yes, so it's sad and needy and insecure, but you did ask. No, it's not sad at all. It's really sweet and caring of you. Oh. You wanted me to defend you, remember? So that's what I'm trying to do. Yes, but this time I don't need defending. And it wasn't the best timing either. I just backed down and told Dad we wouldn't go for Grand's cash, and then they hit us with this post-up thing. I mean, talk about ingratitude. Tom, listen. I love you very much, and I've no intention of leaving you again. Whatever happens. Do you understand? Yes. OK, it's, and I really do appreciate you saying it. Well, because I mean it. So, now will you stop being silly and agree to this post-nup so we can all get on with our lives? I... So my head's saying yes, but there's still something there inside me, something deep down that oh, says... Tom! Look, I'm sorry, Natasha. It, it's no good. I just can't do it. Good. I thought you must be in there. Susan, what, what do you want? Well, you know what time it is, don't you? Time? Quarter past. You're 15 minutes late for your shift. What? At the shop. You're on this afternoon. Oh, was that today? Yes, it was. Why aren't you there? Well, I, I, I was having a nap. Oh, really, Jim? So, time to wake up. Sabrina's had to stay on and cover for you. Oh, but uh, it's not really very convenient for me. Well, it's not very convenient for Sabrina, either. She's off to Felpish in this afternoon. Well, isn't there uh, somebody else? Oh, if there was, I wouldn't be here, would I? You're the only one who's available. So, come on. Oh, uh, well, I'm in my slippers. Oh, come on, put some shoes on. All right, I suppose I'll have oh, to. Oh, that's it. Quick as you can. Well, you won't want to hear this, but sometime soon we need to talk about the art project. Oh, I was afraid you were going to say that. Well, it's been how long now? Ever since we decided to have a vote? I've rather lost track. Yeah, it's too long. I, I don't want to hold up your no, ride. No, no, but... I'm in no big rush. I'm just taking her round by Hayden Wood. Oh, that sounds nice. I have to meet Bert to talk about plumbing problems in the church toilet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're absolutely right about the art project. All those endless committee meetings and we still can't agree on which options to vote on. It's a nightmare. Yeah, well, well I've come up with a plan. Oh, Alan, have you? Yeah, Diana, don't get too excited, but I'd like to run it past you. Oh, go on. Well, basically, we put all the ideas into a hat <laughs> and pick one out at random. Are you serious? I, mean, I can't see any other way. It's either that or abandon the whole thing. <laughs> well, I suppose it would solve our problem. Yeah, and then I can announce the winner at the fete. And it's all done and dusted. Though the committee will kill me. Well, let's not tell them. What? Well, we'll present it as a done deal at the fete. <sighs> oh, steady, steady. No. Oh, uh, are you OK there? Mm. She's being silly and her girth feels a bit loose. Hey, stop that. Uh, uh, do, you, do, you, do you want me to... Yeah, could you just hold up while I... Yeah, if she doesn't mind. Yeah, there she'll we are. be fine. All right. Just while I tighten this up. OK. Oh, uh, Shula, while I've got the chance, um, that talk we had about your ordination, I hope you didn't get me wrong. Wrong? How? Well, I, I'm, I'm always happy to talk things through, of course, but I had to be honest about it and make sure 
you'd thought it all through properly. Oh, Alan, I wouldn't expect anything else. So long as you didn't think I was in any way questioning your faith or, or commitment? No, absolutely not. You made that quite clear. Good. Well, I'm glad you're OK about it. You really shouldn't have worried. You were right to give me a grilling. The whole thing was a silly idea. <laughs> no, 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 of course it wasn't. Well, I've decided it's not for me anyway. Well, all right. Uh, but you know I'm always here if, if you do want to talk again. Yes, of course. Oh, there, that feels better. Good girl. <sighs> Thanks, Alan. Right, well, I'm glad you approve of my decision about the art project. Oh, it'll be such a relief to get it sorted. Yeah, apart from anything else, it's been such a hassle for you to get the committee together. Some of our members are keeping a very low profile. I wonder why. Russ crosses the road when he sees me. And I've not seen hide and hair at Jim for, well, not since the party, actually. No, he has been rather elusive. He's not been ill or anything? No, I think he's had other things on his mind. OK. <laughs> All right, girl. Well, nice to see you, Shirley. Bye. Bye. Mum's busy with a Reiki class, so I thought I'd pop round and say hello. That's nice. Lovely to see you, dear. You too. Now, Hilda, you move so Phoebe can sit down. Thanks. Oh, so, come on. I've been dying to know. How's it working out for you, living with Mum? Oh, we're getting on very well, dear, thank you. So she's not been giving you mindfulness lessons? Or teaching you how to unblock your chakras? I've managed to avoid that so far. <laughs> And the house is so clean and tidy. Yes, yes it is. Oh, amazing. You know cleaning's never really been Mum's thing. I have no complaints on that score. I'm really pleased. It's been great for Mum too. To tell you the truth, I've not seen so much of her lately. I've been busy with my own little project. Oh yeah, your conservation trust. You're causing quite a stir in the village. Am I? Well, it's been giving me a lot to think about. You're a dark horse, you know. I managed to find some trustees. One was recommended to me by my financial advisor. <laughs> Fantastic. And the deadline for ideas is in August? Not so long now. You're a real inspiration. <laughs> Thank you, dear. At my age, so many people begin to look back instead of forward. Mm, that's true, I suppose. I want to do something positive for the countryside, for future generations. I've been talking to Adam and he's really fired up about it. Good. I really don't get why Tony's so down on it. What's going on there? Perhaps you'd better ask him yourself. <laughs> Maybe I will. But it's great the way you've got the whole family thinking about the issues and scrambling to come up with new ideas. Yes. Though, no, I wonder... What? Well, I just hope I'm going the right way about it. I'm sure you are. We'll see. Anyway, enough of my plans. What about yours, Phoebe? Office, Alan. Uh, no, thanks, Susan. Just this. Oh, all right. Uh, Jim will look after you. All right. Uh, uh, hello, Alan. Afternoon, Jim. It's not too busy by the look of it. No, no. Very quiet. Well, I imagine your shift must be more interesting when there's a bit more to do. People to chat to. Um, which magazine is that? Borsetshire Life. Oh, now where's the... Um... Well, the barcode, it's... Uh, is there. Look, look, there oh, yes. Do you know, the price seems to go up every time. And more adverts and fewer articles each time, too. Yes. Uh, oh, I can't make it... Oh, won't it scan? That's a nuisance. Sometimes you have to do it a few times. Uh, no, it's no good. It, it still won't work. Oh, maybe it's got creased or something. Oh, dear. Uh, can we try another copy? You sold out, no? It's the last one. Oh, dear. Um, Susan, uh, c can we do this another way? No. Jim will have to put it through the system. Uh, I'm just popping out the back for a minute. Oh, all right. Oh, damn, wretched thing. Why do they make it so difficult? Uh, you might have to enter it manually. Yes, yes. But, uh, how am I supposed to rig these numbers? Uh, They're far too small, ridiculous. And I came out without my proper glasses. Look, I'll, I'll tell you what, Jim. Why don't I come uh, round No, and... no, it's my shift. That's what I'm here for. Oh, Jim, Jim. Oh, how stupid. What's the matter with me? I'm completely useless. Can't even do the simplest task. Jim, it's oh, so... damn, damn. Jim, Jim, come on, come on. Hey, it's just a magazine. But I can't do it, Alan. I can't. It doesn't matter. This was all a mistake. I should never have come in. I should have stayed at home. Look, take it easy. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm coming round. I'm coming round and I'll help you, all right? <laughs> 
These last few weeks were crazy. Not just the finals. A lot of my friends have already signed up for grad schemes and internships or applying for post-grad courses. We've not even had our results yet. So what about this boyfriend of yours? Boyfriend? Lillian said... <sighs> or was it Jennifer? He does, he's not really a boyfriend. But there is somebody. I've seen him a few times. He came with me to the May Ball. I see. He wants to do a post-grad. He's got a place at Newcastle to do a doctorate. So, an academic. Mm, he's so smart. He's bound to get a first. Do grades really matter that much? Oh, you've no idea. It's so competitive and, and everyone else is so focused, so sure of what they want to do. I've still got no idea, really. You're still so young, Phoebe. You've plenty of time to decide. Do you think so? Yes. And I've no doubt that you're just as clever and talented as your friends. Mm. I don't know. Of course you are. You're my great-granddaughter, after all. <laughs> yes, that's true. So don't you ever doubt it. Oh, OK. I feel there's so much pressure on me. What I decide now will affect the rest of my life. So don't be in a hurry. Take your time, Phoebe. Look around. And when the right thing comes along, you'll know it. Really? Yes, really. And when you know what that right thing is, go for it and give it your very best shot. That's my advice. There we are. That's all done. Oh, dear. How embarrassing. How pathetic of me. No. Uh, not at all. These barcodes can be a bit tricky. Well, thank you, Alan. No, no problem. You, uh, you do look a bit tired, Jim. No, no, I'm all right now. Are you sure? Yes, I'm fine. I can take it from here. Look, I'll tell you what. I've got a better idea. Why don't you go home and let me take over? Oh, no, no, I, I can't ask you to do that. Yes, you can. I'm not a regular, but I've covered a few shifts for Hillary when she had flu. I know the routine. Well, in that case, if you're sure... I am. You go on home, sit down, make yourself a cup of tea. All right? Yes, yes, I will. Thank you, Alan. Dad. Hello. What? Oh, you're back. Sorry, did I wake you? No, no, I was just... That's OK. Oh, let your tea go cold. Oh, dear, have I? I'll make some fresh. You've been sitting there all afternoon? I... I did go down to the shop. Oh, was there something we needed? No, it was my shift behind the counter. Oh, so you've been working. I'd forgotten all about it. Susan came and reminded me. Oh, well, I'm glad she did. Must have made a nice change to... Oh, oh dear. Who's that now? It's OK. Don't worry. I'll get it. Yes, all right. I'm coming. Oh, hello. Hi, Shula. What can I do for you? Well, um, I heard Jim was in the shop this afternoon. Yes, yes, he was. Yes, Alan told me. It's the first time he's managed to get out and do something positive. Quite a breakthrough. Oh. Still a long way to go yet, of course, but it's a step forward. You haven't heard. Heard what? Well, Jim was at the till, but he wasn't really coping. So Alan sent him home and uh, he took over. When you say not coping... You... I'm not quite sure, but enough to worry Alan. Yes. Yes, I see. Um, I suppose it was too much to hope for. So I called round to ask if there's anything I can do to help. <sighs> Whatever the problem is with Jim, you know I've always had... Alistair! Who is it? It's OK, Dad. Not Susan again? No, it's not. Whoever it is, please tell them to go away. Look, Shula... OK, OK. I, I, I just wanted to say, if you need to talk or if you'd like me to have another talk to Jim... Shula, you remember what I told you? Yes, I know. But you don't have to try and deal with this all on your own. Shula, Jim's my father, not yours. I think I know best how to deal with him. Yeah. Yes, of course. And, and please, keep this to yourself. Don't tell anyone else what happened in the shop. No, I won't. Alistair! I'm sorry. Th this was a bad idea. I'll go. I won't bother you again. Of mine. Jennifer, what's she done now? You know, every 
year, it's the same. She calls me up a few days before my birthday and starts wittering on, goodness, how time flies. It only feels like yesterday we were in our teens. Mm. And you know why? Mm. She can't bear the fact that no matter how hard she tries, I'll always be younger than she is. Oh, yes. Well, now you're meant to say I look it too. Mm. Oh, yes, yes, of course you do. Thank you, darling. So, um, remind me, where will you be this evening? <sighs> oh, yes, the bull again. Look, you know why. And with Oliver off on his holiday soon, Kenton needs me more than ever. <sighs> I feel as if I've hardly seen you these last few weeks. <sighs> now I'm to be jilted by some ghastly pub quiz. Oh, don't be so silly. Well, surely you can understand how I feel after you spurned my offer of a birthday trip. Darling, you know I'd love to go to Siena, but I can't. Not until Jolene's back, back from, from her... Back from her tour, yes, yes, I know. And we'll still be able to enjoy my birthday. Well, maybe I'll be too busy this time. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Look, I can't talk about it now. A moustache. I've got a quiz to organise. The boss is your blue. Helen did mention it, yeah. Quite a big order. From a cheesemonger who came to open Farm Sunday. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and it's selling well in here, too. Shall I put these peppers out for you? Oh, thanks. Are the salads on their way? Uh, yes, the salads are here. I've got them. Oh, good. Thanks, Tom. That's perfect timing. So, I hear you're planning a promotion, Tom. I am? I mean, Bridge Fresh for Helen's Bosch, it's your blue. Oh. Sounds a great plan to me. Yeah. Have you talked through the details with Helen? Uh, no, not me. She can talk to Natasha. OK, well... Ah, oh, Tom. Yeah? Are you looking for me? Uh, the, the quiz night. Uh, you know we're making up a team. No. Well, we are. And we're still one person short. Have you thought up a name for us yet, Grandad? Oh, yes. Um, how about the village idiots? Oh. Oh. Anyway, Tom, the point is we're a team member short. You up for it? With you, Mum and Johnny? Yes, a family team. <sighs> Helen will be home with the boys. No, no thanks. Oh, g come on. It'll be fun. Bring Natasha along. Uh, sorry, Dad. We have other plans. hey -ho. So, is this still about the... The post-nup, you guessed it. All right, Tony, don't say it. <laughs> I did warn you it was a mistake. Yes, we hadn't forgotten. So do you think he's ever going to agree to it? Oh, no chance. We might as well forget it. No, it's too important, Tony. And Natasha's on board. We can't give up on it yet. Hey. Hey, you. How's it going? Oh, well, my family being annoying as ever. <laughs> OK, well... Oh, they want us to join their team for the quiz night. We should. Oh, Natasha, you must be joking. Oh, OK. So, anyway, I'm back home now. Any idea what time you'll be done? As soon as possible. Can't wait to be out of here. Well, I'll open a bottle ready for when you get here. And I've got a little surprise waiting for you. There we go, Pat. Oh, thanks. And yours, Johnny. Thanks, Grandad. Hello? Yes. Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Looks like we're off. It's still only three of us. Yeah, not a great start. We're bound to lose. I did my best, Pat. It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Oh, for you, maybe. Johnny and I set on winning, aren't yeah, we? You bet. Well, my brain's worth two of us, anyway. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. Hello and good evening. And welcome to the <clears throat> ball. Now, for those of you who are big fans of our regular quiz master, Jim Lloyd, I'm afraid he couldn't be here tonight, so oh, you'll have to Excuse me, can I just instead. squeeze through? Oh, thank and, you. Uh, Justin. Oh, hello, hello. Uh, sorry if I'm a bit late. Um, what? Well, they said your team was a man down, so I've come to join you. Oh, great. If you, uh, if you don't mind. No, no. no. Oh, we're delighted. We could do with the help. Which is on the subject of geography. Oh, oh what? Oh, hello. hello, Mrs. Bellamy. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Uh, well, it seems that the only way I can get to spend time with you, my dearest partner, is to come down here. <laughs> well, as you can see, I won't have time for domestic chit-chat tonight, as I'm otherwise engaged. Yes, yes, quite. So, I've come to join the Bridge Farm team, the Village Idiots. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I'm afraid you can't. Why not? Yes, why not, Lillian? No, no, I won't heckle. Well, too much. 
I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to disqualify you. Disqualify me? I don't think so. Oh, come on. You can't do that. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, I'm the quiz master, and if I say you're disqualified... All right, all right. Let's put it to the floor, shall we? Listen, everyone. If you think I qualify as a village idiot, say yes. Hey, hey. See, Lillian, you're overruled. Uh, all right, if you must. But remember, Mr. Elliot, I'm in charge. Screw top, not a cork. It was on offer. Yeah? But I had a taste. It's okay. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Mm. Not bad, is it? It should help to get us in the mood. For what exactly? Well, this little surprise I was talking about. Yes, um, Natasha, sorry. Before we get into that, can I just say something? Oh, OK. Well, this whole post-nup thing, I've been thinking and... Well, I can see you've got a point about me being sad and insecure. Hey, no, no, I never said that. OK, but it's true. I am. This thing about you're going to walk off and leave me. Tom. And I'm letting my insecurities come between us. You want to do the post-nup, I don't. So it's upsetting our relationship, which is what I was worried about in the first place. Do you see what I mean? I think I follow you, yes. Well, it doesn't mean that I'm about to rush off and sign anything. But I'm trying very hard to rationalise it. And for the sake of us and our marriage... So that's it. That's all I wanted to say. Tom, I understand. I know it's hard. So that's why I want to give you this. Oh, what? The surprise. Oh, open it. Okay then. Oh, hey, Natasha. It's my granddad's signet ring. Your granddad's? Yes. It's nothing valuable, but he wore it all his life. Through the D-Day landings. Yeah? Wow, so that's... It's kind of a family heirloom. It's got his initials on, you see? Yeah, yeah. That's so amazing. I... So why are you... Well, give... it's been sitting in a drawer at home. My mum's quite happy to pass it on. It came in the post this morning. Oh, I can't take this. Yes, you can. If you like it. Like it? Yes, I love it, but... OK, then, you keep it. From me to you. <sighs> Natasha. Call it a token, if you like. I'm not going to walk off and leave you. I'm in this for keeps. Do you believe me now? So, on to our last geographical question. What is the capital of the Seychelles? Ooh, um, Any idea, Bat? Um, uh, it's no good looking at me. No, excuse me, Quizmaster. Yes, what is it? That, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid there's no such place. What? Do you mean, of course there is? No, not the Seychelles. The Seychelles. It doesn't have an S on the end. What? Well, of course it does. It's written down here. Uh, yes, perhaps, Mrs Bellamy, but it's a silent S if you pronounce the word correctly. Oh, that's not true, Mr Elliot. You're making it up. No, 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 no. You ask any Seychellois. Well, I don't care. I'm Quizmaster. I'll pronounce it however I like. <laughs> <laughs> and that's quite enough for geography. So, on to our next round. Classic musical movies. Oh, this is more like it. Now, first question for our more uh, mature quizzes. Which famous Frenchman starred in the film Gigi? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, I know that. Oh, yeah, it was old... Um, what's his name? Excuse um, me, Quizmaster. Yes, what is it now? Which Gigi do you mean? What do you mean, which Gigi? Oh, well, are you referring to the original French version or the Hollywood remake? For heaven's sake! Was it a remake? Indeed it was. Well, as far as I'm concerned, there is only one version. Well, I'm sorry to be pedantic, but... All right, all right, that's enough. I'm deducting five points from your team for wasting time. What? No, no, you can't do that. Now, that's unfair. Yes, it is. Well, if you can show me where in the rules it says... I'm in charge. I make the rules. Now, be quiet or I'll take up another five points. Ladies and gentlemen, see what a tyrant she is. I don't know how you put up with it, Justin. It's not so funny, Tony. Now we'll be even further behind. 
Well, you can't win them all, but we put on a pretty good show. Yes, we did. So, if we'd have had a few less points deducted... Yes, well, blame our ruthless quiz master for that. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it's all very funny, Tony. Oh, come on. It's the most entertaining quiz night we've had in years. <laughs> you can say that again. Justin, can I have a word? Uh-oh. Oh, if you'll excuse me a moment... <sighs> No, Lillian. Yes, oh. yes. All right. Let's call it a draw, shall we? Oh, <laughs> well... I think we each gave as good as we got, and... Uh, <laughs> I've not had so much fun in ages. Uh. Really? Oh. <laughs> mm. <sighs> Thank you for coming tonight. Let's make a deal, shall we? I will try and spend more time at home if you stop moaning about how little you see me. Yes, all right. It's a deal. <laughs> Good. Oh, and my birthday. Oh, yes? Have you uh, changed your mind about our Italian trip? No, I haven't. I want a party. Oh. But I've decided there'll be no family at all. So forget jetting off to Siena. I've booked the flood bar upstairs. It'll be the perfect venue for my birthday bash. There they are. Hey, Mum. Dad. Tom, hello. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Natasha, too. This is nice. Didn't you have other plans? Well, yeah, we did. Uh, we thought we'd come down and tell you. Oh? Tell us what? Um, <clears throat> I've changed my mind. I'd like us to do the post snap agreement after all. You would? Yes. <laughs> uh, let's just say Natasha talked me into it. Oh, no, no. Well done, Natasha. <sighs> it was his choice in the end. Oh, that's great. Well... Drinks on me, then. <laughs> I'll come and give you a hand. OK, Mum. <sighs> so, that went down well, didn't it? Mm, yeah. Now we've got that sorted, what about our pitch for the Conservation Trust? Uh, Are you going to tell them we're going for it? Uh, well, there's no big rush, is there? One step at a time. into the back of me. Ah, oh, OK. I was stopped at the junction. Next thing I knew. Anyone hurt? Well, no, no, it was only a bump. OK. But I got George and Kira in there, and Kira's quite upset. Yeah, yeah, I see. When I got out to have a word, and I gave him my phone number, asked for his details, and he got really shirty and tried to make out it was all my fault. What, when you were stationary? Yeah. Started yelling at me, calling me all sorts of names. Charming. And then he just backed up and drove away and left me standing here. OK, OK, um... <sighs> Is there any damage? Uh, well, I think he went into the tow bar. Oh, yeah, that took most of the impact. Oh, small dent here in the bumper. Did you get his reg plate to uh, the picture? No, no, of course. I left my phone in the car uh, by the time I remembered. Oh, well, never mind. No witnesses. He'd probably have denied it anyway. Oh, it's just so upsetting, Alistair. Yeah, but you were lucky it wasn't much worse. He was so rude and nasty to me. That's what's so horrible. What kind of idiot behaves like that? There we go, Prof. <laughs> That's yours. Mine's the three spoons of sugar. We don't want to mix up, eh? Thank you. OK, so I'll just pull up a chair. Oh, don't feel you need to sit here with me. I'm sure you've got better things to do. Oh, I did my training day at home farm yesterday. And this afternoon I just got killed by a zombie for the third time in a row. Oh, one of your video games. Uh, it's not fun anymore. I could do a real challenge. So, how's about you and me have a wee game of Scrabble? Uh, no, no, I, I'm not in the mood. Oh, come on, you've thrashed me every time we've played. Maybe this time I'll get my revenge. Uh, not today. Another time, perhaps. OK, so we could play Snap instead. I may have a chance of winning. Uh, no, not cards either. Hey, do you know what? You could help me train Webster. Train her? I, I, I saw this video. This guy taught his tarantula to shake hands. Now, you might not believe it, but it's perfectly true. He put his finger in the spider... Uh, Jazza, I really don't need entertaining. You go off and do whatever it is you... I'm bored of mine. I could use some company. So, how's about you and me go and get some fresh air? Maybe strolled in the pub for an iced lemonade? Uh, no, no. Come on, Prof, it'll be nice and quiet. It's the middle of the afternoon. Uh, Jezza, so... 
I let Susan talk me into going out, and look what happened. I'd rather stay where I am. Ed? Ed? You know what's just happened? Ed? Ed, come down! Hey, um... Uh, did you see him? What? Will, I just passed him in the lane. No. Yeah, he spent Ed. ten minutes laying into me. He's got himself into a right state. He's all worked up about Poppy, how upset she's going to be when Pepper goes. Right. Like we hadn't worked that one out for ourselves, right. eh? Well, did you tell him? Yeah, yeah. I said we're on to it. Got a plan. We'll do our best to make it easy for him. That calm him down a bit? <laughs> you know my brother. Well, you've not heard what happened to him. Oh, and I had a call from Tim and all. He's got another job on for me tonight. So you'll be late again? Yeah, well, hopefully this one will be the last. OK. Hey, where are the kids? They went straight in. Kira's a bit upset. Why? I've been trying to tell you. Some maniac just drove into the back of us. You what? Oh, it's OK. It went that bad. Nobody's hurt. Well, what happened? I was stopped at a junction and this bloke in a pickup came up behind us. Who? What, what bloke? I don't know. Nobody I recognised. It, it was a complete idiot. When I got out, he had a real go at me. So did he threaten you or what? No, no, not really. But it was horrible to me. How long had he been following you? I don't know. He was just suddenly there behind me. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I, I get it. What's he done to the car? Oh, it's not that bad. Just a dent, a couple of scratches. OK. OK, well, you're sure that you've never seen him before? Yeah, I'm sure. Well, did you get his number? No. All right, I should have been more together. But think about it, Em. What did he look like? Tell me everything you can remember. Ed, it weren't that serious. I'd rather forget all about it. So he's just been sitting there? Aye, pretty much. Oh. Staring at the walls and watching the telly. Yeah, well, thanks for persevering. I've just had Fiona on the phone again, wanting to know what's going on, why he's not been answering her calls. Aye, that's a tough one. I hate having to lie to her, but I can't possibly tell her the truth either. Not without Dad's permission. He's hardly in a state to have that kind of discussion. I can't even bear to see him this way, Alistair. It's no right. No, but... Um, Where's the justice in this world? Somebody needs to pay for doing this to my pal. Jazza, please, we've been through all this before. Oh, well, I just need to change the way I feel. Yeah, all right, but we need to try and be constructive. I've done some more research about possible support and counselling options and I've come up with a couple of promising contacts. You know my views on that, I know. I know, but it might be a real help to him, Jazza, and we won't know how he'll react until we ask him, so <sighs> let's give it a try, shall we? Tim! Go away, mate. You come to give me a hand with this fence? OK, that's it. I've had enough. Hey, what? If you want to play rough with me, fine. But you don't go near my wife and kids. Sorry, come again? Nobody touches my family. Nobody, you understand? Hey, Ed, slow down. I don't know what you're on about. Oh, come on, don't give me that. You fixed it up to get back at me for that missed drop. Whoa, 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 fix what up? Oh, please. If you tell me, then I can answer. You know already, don't you? A guy in a pickup just rear-ended my wife's car. Nasty. He must have known who she was and followed her down the lane. Ed, and mate. then he came on all heavy with her. Ed, hey, look at me. I'm sorry about what happened to your wife, but I swear to God, I know nothing about it. <laughs> so if it wasn't you, then it must have been the others. No, that's crazy, Ed. So what? It's just some random accident? Listen, I had a word, and it was them who let you down the other night. They're not blaming you for it. You're in the clear. <laughs> you need to relax, mate. Don't get so paranoid. Nobody's coming after you or your family. I'm sorry, even if that's true. It's gospel, honest. Why would I lie to you? I don't care. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing this job tonight. Ed, come on, you can't let me down now. Oh, yes, I can. I want that stuff cleared from my barn, and then I'm out. Dad, we do understand why you prefer not to talk about it anymore. I thought I'd made that perfectly clear. Yes. I would respect that, Prof. It was so incredibly brave of you to tell us about... about Harold. Aye. And we know it must have brought back a lot of terrible memories for you. We just want to see if we can find a way to help you deal with those feelings. If I wanted help, I'd ask for it. But that's just it. You never would ask, would you? 
It's just not the way you're made. I can't help the way I'm made. No, no. So but... what's the point of all this? Jim, I was your own flesh and blood, and I'm your best pal. We love you. It's breaking us up to see you this way. We don't want you to have to suffer in silence. What do you want me to do? Well, I've been doing some research. Oh. Dad, if you could just listen while I talk through a few of the options. Very well, if you must. OK. To start with, whatever the terrible things you went through as a child, you do know you're not alone. There are plenty of other survivors like you out there, and there are organisations who can help. Listen to me, Ed. So you want out, and I don't blame you. And you're not alone. Don't you think I'd get out too if I had the chance? What's stopping you then? Don't you get it? As long as this scam's up and running, they own me. That means they own you too. <laughs> Nobody owns me or my family. Oh, come on, mate. That goes for all of us. Me, my brother Will, we can look out for ourselves. Yeah, so maybe you can. But soon we'll be done with this and you won't have to worry. Oh, you've said that before. OK, but this time I'm on the level. They're about to wind the whole thing up and move on. Find another patch. That's how they operate. Keep one step ahead of the law. So if we just hang in there for a bit longer, then we'll be free. How much longer? Well, two more weeks and we're done. <sighs> two weeks? Yeah. If we back out now, we'll be in deep trouble. You do this job tonight, maybe a couple more, get rid of that stuff in your barn, then it's all over. You can move into your smart new house, and I can move on. How's that sound? Fine. Two more weeks, and then that's it. I'm done. You'd be dealing with trained professionals, they understand what you've been through and they know how to help. And you don't have to talk to anyone face to face. You can do it online or over the phone, however you want. Oh, Alistair. Have a look at the website. It has a whole range of information and resources. And then if you decide it's not for you... Alistair, then... thank you, but I don't need any counselling. But how do you know until you try? Oh, this is getting us nowhere. Jazza. What would be the point? There's nothing they could say that would change what happened. It'll all be a waste of time. You needn't decide now. Take your time and think about... I don't need to think, Alistair. I'm not going to do it. Dad, please. Oh, prof, I can't just sit here and take this. You know what you need to do. If you're not going to say it, then I will. What? We need to stop this mess and go to the police. The police? Aye. Tell them the truth about Harold Jaston. How he's a dirty pedo and should be locked away with the rest of the perverts. It's just, uh... Never mind counselling. Revenge will make you feel a whole lot better. No, no, Jazza. Uh, both of you, stop this, stop this now. Dad? Don't you understand? I'm not having counselling. I'm not going to the police. Do you think I've gone completely mad? No, oh, Jim, of course we don't. So why must you keep going on at me, treating me as if I were some kind of imbecile? We're only wanting to help. If that's what you really want, then please, stop this nonsense and don't mention it ever again. Dad. Now, that's enough. I'm going to my room. And I don't wish to be disturbed. Is that understood? Thanks, Jazza. That was a great help. I was only speaking my mind. Yeah, and look what happened. I know that's how you feel, and I'm not saying I disagree, but... You're right. He's not ready for it. I should have kept my big mouth shut. I'm sorry, Al. No, no, this was all my idea. I'm just as much to blame. So... We're right back to where we started, V. Yep. Afraid we are. And all we've done is made things worse. We've left the poor guy suffering more than ever. We can't get up on him now. Of course we can't. The question is, where do we go from here? <laughs>